Okay guys, so I just washed the reel off again with the hose. I didn't use the pressure washer. We've got the grease gun here. And it's gonna grease this up a little bit. One, two. So the reel's cutting good with the paper. I wanna mow. So this is a verbena plant. They have these awesome looking flowers like this. Look how the leaves are kind of shriveled up and they've turned this different color here. I'm pretty sure some of that plant growth regulator might have got on this or some of that RGS might have got on this or some of those products that I was spraying might have got on this. And so it kind of looks like that. So that's unfortunate. It should uh, spring back though. It doesn't look too bad. Kind of looks burned a little bit. So. That's unfortunate. So today is Friday. I mowed, the last time I mowed was on Memorial Day, which was Monday. And look at this temperature. So it's 50, around 53 degrees today. It feels a little bit warmer than 53. It probably feels like about 60, but it's been kind of cold today. And it's not supposed to get up into the, it's supposed to get up into about the 70s of next week. Maybe high 70s, but. So the weather's great for this, these conditions. So I want to mow today. I'm going to show you a little bit of what, what's going on in the lawn today. So let's get this mow on and go for it. Hey guys, so here's the cut line right here. The mower bench height of cut is set to 5 8 I see quite a few long stragglers as I get down here and look actually. Looks like it needs to be double cut. It really is cutting at around 5 8 of an inch actually. So it looks good there. And then these pieces here are about 3 quarters of an inch. So three quarters to an inch. So this side's about three quarters to an inch. This side's pretty much good at five eighths. It's only growing maybe like a quarter to three eighths of an inch in, a, in four days, which is way good because the temperatures have been prime for this cool season grass, for this cool season Kentucky bluegrass. So pretty awesome that the growth regulator is working that well. That section over there across the walkway, I did not do any growth regulator on it because I wanted to use a different product on there which I haven't put down yet I would really like to try to do that but it looks like I need to do a double cut I can see quite a number of stragglers it's got a super geeky tip for you if you lay down like this and put your face down on the grass but if you look down like this and look across the grass you can see all the contours and where you need leveled and where you can see different bumps when you're cutting this low I, I do have a lot of kind of bumps and humps here and there. But all in all, it looks, looks pretty good. Really satisfied with this. I love being out here. I love the lawn. It's so soft and, you know, when you get a touch and feel like this, this is, this is what I love about summer. So I'm gonna finish mowing this. Then I think I might do a quick double cut because, like I said, I see a lot of stragglers here. Got the sprinklers running right now. I've been asked a lot of times about how I do my watering and I do plan on doing a video about my watering and I promise I will make a video on that one. So anyways, just kind of wanted to show you the final result of it. It's been four days since I mowed and it's been five days since I put down the plant growth regulator. And I tell you what, that stuff is amazing. I highly recommend that stuff if you want to take your lawn to the next level. So I just finished doing a double cut on the mowing and it actually looks fantastic. Really happy the way it turned out. I'm starting to see some dry areas and when I see dry areas, that means I know it's time to water. So I've got some dry areas through here and then like right in through here, I just, I see dry areas. So right over here, I always get dry spots all the time, always happens. So if you can see the yellow along the fence line, 
I sprayed Roundup through there. I don't want the grass against the fence because it's so hard to trim and so hard to mow. So I just kind of want to maintain Roundup and kill the grass along the fence line there. So what I really want to do with this area is plant a privet hedge. One that'll get like about six or eight feet tall. Really tall hedge all the way down. Nice, clean, straight and square cut. Takes several years to get there with that, but that's kind of really what I want to do with this area. I just want to kind of plant a privet hedge. And I had plans to do that this spring, and I was going to order the plants, but I just didn't get to it and don't have money for it. So <clears throat> I think I'll order the hedge plants for there. I might need to move these trees anyways because they're fairly close to the fence. I think they'll be okay next to the fence, but. I'm just gonna cut the limbs up on top of the fence. So I might have to move them if I put a hedge or or I guess leave them, but I would put the hedge maybe four to six foot out so it would have room to grow and so I could step behind it and so I could trim it. But So it would eat up a little bit of the lawn space, but that would be okay with me because I got plenty of lawn space here, guys. So I wanna show you guys something really quick. I got these sprinklers going. Look at this head right here, how far it is buried under the soil. It's only sticking up two inches. So this is a four inch head. It should be sticking up another two inches. A couple of these sprinkler heads need to be adjusted. And I've got a great way to do that. And I made a video on how to do that last year. But I need to adjust that one there and that one down there. And raise them up a little bit. So I appreciate you guys watching these videos. And I will see you in the next one.